Hey there. Take these headphones off so you guys can hear me. This is Aisha here to inspire. So, I think today is day 17. Um, after my fibroid procedure. And I feel exceptional. I'm taking a walk. Because movement is also a part of the healing process. Now, I'm listening to my body. I'm not running. <laughs> I'm not jogging. I'm not about to attack any extreme hills or anything like that. But I am just walking at my pace, at a comfortable pace for myself. One of the contributing factors or uh, for people that get fibroids is one, obesity, and two, just lack of movement. Our bodies are like machines. So... You wouldn't just let your car sit forever without starting it up. Because guess what? When you go back to start it, the battery will probably be dead. Or something else will be going on with it. So our bodies are the same. We can't just get caught up in our workflow. Jumping up, run, take the kids to school, go to work, get off, blah, blah, blah. And not take any time to move the body. And start where you are. You don't have to start out doing CrossFit throwing dumbbells or kegel balls or whatever they're called around just do a little bit just take a walk there's a lady in my community she's probably got to be in her 80s i've been seeing a woman for like nine years i don't care if it's raining it's sunny snowing <laughs> she is walking okay this woman does not miss a day I grow to look forward to watching her walk by my window and when you see her walking she's always smiling I mean she looks so happy when she's walking and um, that's the key that's the fountain of youth if you guys like look at any of these videos of some of these bodybuilders or just older people that are still really physically fit it's not about Lifting the biggest weight or your leg having to go behind your head and all that. Just move. Just staying consistent with movement. So, you know, life happens to all of us. A lot of people fall off during the winter. And that's cool. But spring is upon us. At least where I am, it's beautiful outside. Like, look, we forget that it's still March. Like, it's pollen all over the place. The bees are getting jiggy with each other. Um, the squirrels are frisky. They're getting it on. So, spring is here. So, this is a better, good of a time than any to get moving. So grateful I had my procedure when I did. Because it was right on time, you know? in the winter and now uh, I get to enjoy some of the spring while I'm recovering and while I'm healing I'm gonna just stop here for a second because of the Sun so get moving you know do something today when I first took my first walk a few days back I literally can only walk three doors like three houses and then I came back home and fell out <laughs> but Hey, that was three houses, right? Today, I just walked around the block. And that was literally just a few days ago, four days ago or so, where I only could walk three houses. So the body adapts so quickly. It adapts to good and bad, right? It adapts to things that we're doing to it to help it. And it adapts to trash. It's an amazing machine. So I want to be that 80-year-old lady walking up and down the street. And I have hills where I live too. So she's walking up the hills. She's speed walking. She's so cute. And she's always smiling. And she's just happy. She's friendly. Because she's releasing serotonin and dopamine naturally. Naturally. And we do so much to induce that feeling. Why do you think you need to have a drink every time you get off work? Or on the weekends? Just to come down and relax. <laughs> There's certain chemicals that your body is releasing when 
you consume those things. But your body releases those same things when you move it around. So if you like to dance, dance. You don't have to go to the club. If you don't want to go to the club or if that's your thing, go to the club. But dance, you know? And it's nice to get out and see neighbors and wave at them and stuff. So that's all. I just wanted to uh, do my little video for the day and encourage you all to get outside and move your bodies if it's sunny where you are or do some burpees or some jumping jacks or twerk in the mirror if you like to twerk do whatever it is that you like to do um and so you can start feeling better you know especially if you're dealing with the fibroids that's only going to help you on your journey you don't everyone doesn't have to get surgery okay I explained if you didn't know my, my story, you can look at the very first video I did about why I had to get the surgery because it was a fibroid I couldn't pass. Um, but that's not everybody's story. You know, some people have little itty bitty fibroids that can dissolve. They can dissolve. That muscle tissue in the uterus can smooth itself back out if you give it the what it needs to do so. You know, hormonal balance is important. Estrogen feeds fibroids. If your progesterone is off, that can also contribute to the fibroid growth, okay? So, listen to your body. If something's going on inside, if you feel off, you didn't have heavy cycles, now all of a sudden you're having cycles that are heavy, you're having pain when you have sex, and who wants that unless that's your thing, but like uncomfortable pain, not desired pain, <laughs> or... Um, you know, you start having breakouts all around here under the chin or start growing hair. Those are all, that's a sign of hormonal imbalance. So go to the doctor, have your labs checked, ask them to check where your hormone levels are. You might need to get an ultrasound to see, and make sure you don't have fibroids um, because you want to catch them while they're small before they grow too big. They can get really big. Like the one I have removed, the biggest one was the size of a grapefruit, a grapefruit. And it had one growing off the side of it, like a lime. So, trust me, you don't want that. You don't want to go there. So, listen to your bodies. Start to pay attention to your bodies. They're always talking to us. Most of us don't, don't understand the language because we got so much noise and chaos and stuff going on around us. We don't recognize the voice of our wounds when it's trying to talk to us. So, tune in and listen. If you like my content, um, please like it and subscribe. Um, when you like and subscribe, the algorithms that are on here will make it more available to other women um, that might be going through the same thing or might be searching around fibroids and things like that or wound wellness. Because I want to help as many people as I can. If I could like, help prevent somebody else from going through some of the um, drama that I had to experience through this journey... Um, just by talking about it and being transparent, even though I'm a very private person, but by being transparent about it, then I want to. So please um, like, subscribe, and if you know somebody that could benefit from this content, share. In the meantime, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Uh-oh.